Now, yung mga nurses and doctors natin, hindi magpapadurok yan kung ibibigay natin kung ano na lang vaccine. Kailangan yung pinaka-mabisa, pinaka-effective, at pinaka-safe. Di ba? Kaya ako binabanggit yan, we're rolling out the program. Okay? You don't want to start in the wrong footing. Di ba? Okay? So let's give them the best. In fact, we should give all the Filipinos the best possible vaccine. Isn't it? Okay? So, makikita natin, makikita ng FDA, malalaman ng HTAC, base sa data sa buong mundo, sa ngayon, alam natin, 7 million na ang naturukan. Di ba? So, napakaraming data na. Halimbawa, kung Pfizer ang ginamit, kung AstraZeneca, kung Moderna, at uh, like I said, doon sa 7 million, maganda kung may numero tayo niya, pang ilan ba yung halimbawa Sinovac? Di ba? Ang Sinovac ma, meron ng uh, approval sa Amerika o sa Europa? Sir President, if I may, okay. uh, just one... Let's we get the answer first to the uh, question of Senator Recto, then we'll, we'll allow Senator Villanueva to give the figures that uh, Senator Recto is asking because he yes. just got it from Bloomberg. Uh, may we have the answer to Senator Recto, uh, the FDA, please? Well, sa, sa data po namin, Mr. President, wala pa po siyang uh, ah. EUA from a stringent regulatory agency. Okay. Now, one last question no, on, on this issue. No? Ang China ba bumibili ng Pfizer, ng Moderna, at saka ng AstraZeneca? Senator, uh, Secretary Galdez. Sir, to, uh, to answer the, uh, the question of uh, the Senator, how many have been administered already globally, uh, we have a... Uh, Number here, sir, the back on the vaccine global tracker. We have uh, a total. Oh, what was the last question, Mr. Uh, yes, the, the last the, question was the last question, uh, Mr. President, is uh, Ang China ba bumibili ng Pfizer? Uh, uh, yes. uh, I, 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 I also encountered that in an internet post, eh, pero mukhang ano eh, mukhang, mukhang, uh, Mukhang uh, fake news eh. But anyway, uh, you answer us. Uh, Secretary Galvez, can you answer that? Or perhaps uh, Secretary Dizon, would you know if it's true that uh, China is importing <laughs> vaccines? Um, just consulting with the DOH, but we don't have any information to that effect. Uh, so we don't know, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President uh, Risa, Senator Risa Otevelos. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. With the indulgence of uh, Senator uh, Joel. Um, similar to Senator Joel, there's also news December 15, 2020, also on Bloomberg, that China secures 100 million doses of BioNTech vaccine uh, co-developed by Pfizer. So this is in the December 20 news, Mr. President. No, it's a different news from General Senator Bill. It's the number of... Uh, uh, vaccines, or, uh, 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 vaccines already. Yes, go ahead, uh, Secretary Galvez. Sir, mo most of the countries, uh, based on the study of uh, the Boston Consulting uh, Group, uh, most of the most of the countries have uh, adopted a portfolio, a no, portfolio uh, strategy, considering that uh, their their current capacity right now, they they, they cannot do it. Uh, considering the population of China, more or less 1.2 billion and above. Uh, the three, you know, the three companies, the casino, uh, the Sinopharm and Sinovac, cannot produce all the, you know, the, the capacity of those uh, companies are ranging only 400 million. So with the, you know, with the, you know, with the need of uh, really uh, inoculating uh, the whole uh, 1.2 billion, they also apply, they, they also apply the portfolio approach, wherein they will gather all their national volumes from other suppliers. All right. Um, yes, Mr. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Just to uh, give uh, additional information uh, being asked by our Senate President Pro Tempore, uh, I have here with me a data that says uh, as of January 22, 2021, roughly 56.7 million COVID-19 doses have been administered in 52 countries. Uh, the source is a Bloomberg, uh, Your Honor, Mr. President, and uh, perhaps 
the 7 million uh, is uh, as an estimate, and I think it's underestimated, Mr. President. Yes. Just to of put the 56 record, million? 56.7 yes. million doses. So if okay. you divide it by two, yes. uh, at least it's more, uh, definitely more than 7 million, Mr. President. Okay. Yes. Of the 50, yes. So I would expect that the our expert panel would ha should have this data. No? <laughs> oh, oh, halimbawa, yung 56 million, ilan dyan yung Pfizer? Ha? Ilan dyan, yan, ang mga actual clinical trial na rin yan. <laughs> okay? Oh, ilan dyan yung Moderna, ilan dyan yung AstraZeneca, pang ilan yung Sinovac dyan? Would they have the data? Would HTAC be, yeah. be able to answer those questions? Sir, we will, uh, we will uh, yeah. uh, find out the answer and we will submit it uh, on Monday. Sir. All right. Be, yeah, that, that, will be, that will be okay. Um, Senator Recto, are you going to wrap up or you want, Senator Marcos wants to interject? Sure, sure. I mean, uh, yeah, Senator Marcos can, uh, can intervene, yes. Yes, Mr. Ahead, President, Mr. I just wanted to add, I had uh, I had information and I've read in uh, several journals from the UK that uh, the coverage is only four to five months uh, following the vaccination. So I don't know how accurate that is. As our uh, medical experts say, uh, it's very, very uh, preliminary. But four to five months doesn't seem like a very good deal. Secondly, uh, Global Times of uh, China, the People's Daily, has repeatedly uh, criticized Pfizer and the other Western uh, vaccines. So, palagay ko fake news nga yung namimili sila. Kasi panaybanat nila eh dun sa Pfizer at saka sa Western uh, vaccines. Sabi nga nila yung uh, Norwegian deaths, they are quoting the German deaths, and so on. This uh, occurs in the China dailies regularly. So, I believe it's unlikely that they're in fact procuring from uh, the West. Thank you. Okay. And finally, Mr. Senate President, so I think what, what is most important is that we all agree here. And maybe the Ed H. Tuck, uh will be the one to recommend no? that uh, we give the best, the most, the safest, the most effective uh, vaccine to our frontliners to begin 